lanky guy BJJ tips. Some things you need to know if you're a lanky guy or girl. Hey guys, Coach Tom here. I'm a pretty lanky guy. Kane, one of my Blue Belt students, is a pretty lanky guy. So guess what? We're gonna share some of our tips because uh, you know, when Kane walked into the academy, what he's good at right now is the exact same things that all lanky guys kind of get good at. So if you're a lanky guy, whether you're big or small, like how tall are you, Kane? Six one. Six one, right. You can get lanky guys like Ryan Hall who are like 5'10 and stuff like that. Lanky guys like me who I might now be over 200 pounds, but I'm like six foot four or something. So if you're lanky, it doesn't matter. You still have like, some things that work against you, like long levers that can work against you, but also long reaches that can work for you. And you normally, most lanky guys are quite flexible. So first things first, if you're a lanky guy, develop an awesome open guard. You're gonna be really good at inverting and doing all this sort of things. Kane is, I am, and it's not like we had to train him a lot, it's just part of the body type. We might not be as outright strong, but we're gonna be pretty flexible. However, from a close guard, you guys wanna be thinking of techniques like triangle chokes. So if you're a lanky guy, your bread and butter, you wanna be playing with triangle chokes, okay? Because you're gonna be lanky and you're gonna have a lot of reach to triangle big guys, and you're gonna have a lot of flexibility to get your triangles, okay? You also wanna be looking at arm bars, okay? Long legs make it very effective for arm bars as well. Now, if we're going from the top, okay? So I've swept him over and I'm here from the top. As a lanky guy, you have quite a bit of space, so it's gonna be quite easy for people to turn into you sometimes. So, the lanky man's friend is the head and arm choke. So, the das is often one of the first ones that people like to do. Of course, as a lanky guy, you can also hit the anaconda, okay, this way, all right? As well as just the regular katagatami head and arm side choke. All right, so remember, triangles, arm bars, and darses. They are three things that all lanky guys just have an innate ability to get, but don't forget to develop that open guard, okay? Sometimes from the back, if I've got your back here, Kane, as a lanky guy, you have a long radius and ulna, so if he hangs onto it, it can be kind of quite hard to get up and choke the neck, because even if I get my arm around his neck, because I'm lanky, there's a lot of space. Okay, so when guys grab onto your arm, you can use it against them by sliding it all the way up and then locking your arms together. You're gonna have the reach to get people's head and arms in. This is exactly the same thing that Braulio Estima did to Marcelo Garcia in the Abu Dhabi Combat Championships, ADCC. So from here, instead of locking my choke with just a neck, I've got long lanky arms, so slide them up lock this off, put a fist behind his head, and now fall to your side and lift your left elbow up. Once I've lifted my left elbow up here, I now squeeze everything tight and I get the tap. Just a wonderful way that I can use my longer reach to my advantage and uh, get a great choke, okay? As Braulio Estima did to the very stocky, amazing grappler, Marcelo Garcia. So there's some lanky BJJ tips, guys. And just remember, if you're lanky, make sure you're fit, make sure you're flexible, and don't not lift weights. You should still lift weights or do some sort of push-ups or pull-ups or conditioning type program. So even if strength is your weak link, it can still be made as strong as you can. But remember that genetically, you're probably gonna be predisposed to being more flexible, fitter, and hopefully if you're lucky, maybe smarter. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Happy Lanky Jiu Jitsu. I'm Coach Tom, I'll see you next time.